We have some breaking news just coming out of New York City, which has received apparently a credible threat of terror. This according to law enforcement officials. New York City Police Commissioner Bill Bratton held an emergency meeting to discuss NYPD's response. No details regarding the nature of the threat have been released. Zudi Jasser is back with us. Zudi, we were just talking about the impression in the Middle East of the United States when we act in a feckless way. Do you perceive that that the way we reacted to San Bernardino was feckless and that might be encouraging ISIS and other terror groups? Well, I think they, they also saw the reaction. They saw the, the weak uh, uh, stance in which uh, we see some of the candidates even uh, uh, on the left saying that somehow we need to uh, change who we are and be, be nice to Islam, et cetera, instead of actually motivating and demanding that Muslims own up to it and reform and take responsibility. No, we've been weak on almost every front. And ISIS, as we get closer to the Christian holiday of Christmas, is uh, probably motivated to continue to use their religious flag of what they call Islam to uh, inspire terror among their followers so this is a very high risk time and and uh, weakness uh, unfortunately is uh, giving them even more green lights to do uh, more and more havoc. Well nationally our international facade is weak but locally here in New York City the New York City Police Department has to be very very strong you know there's a big question out there about what constitutes a credible threat as you know LA closed down their schools just last week and it turned out not to be a credible threat what are the elements that convince local law enforcement that they have to put out a public statement that they have to take action well I think ultimately as uh, they they have to take everything seriously so uh, you know we don't know the details often of what they hear but once they hear some kind of threat they have to take it seriously and I think ultimately what they learned from San Bernardino what we learned from Chattanooga is uh, the the uh, there was some social activity on uh, Facebook, et cetera. The Chattanooga shooter had posted that he wanted to establish Islam in America two days before. So there are things like that that we're realizing that should have been monitored, that may not have been telegraphing violence, but were telegraphing a supremacist ideology that should have been monitored since it was publicly available. And I think now they're starting to realize we got to act on whatever we see. and you know, make sure that uh, right. if there's a way to preserve life that we yeah. have done it to, and not later regret it. Zudi, after the Paris attacks, ISIS put out this video that showed scenes of New York uh, with some some threats underneath uh, the, the video that they were showing. Uh, we, we haven't heard much about that. Could this be related to that? Do you think that they were serious in that video or was just a, they were just trying to scare us? I think it's all of the above. I mean, they are basically a, a viral, barbaric ideology that tries to inject its virus into any mind possible. So they will, in some ways, as we saw in San Bernardino, do the softest targets possible that nobody would ever think of, a Christmas party at a healthcare facility, uh, versus New York, which is a hard target, but ultimately has a lot of symbolism for them. So uh, they will strike all of the above. We saw ISIS uh, mentioned Tripoli and Libya. We see them pull into ideas. I mean, uh, they have a magazine called Inspire, but they call it Dabak because it uses the symbolism of bringing back the caliphate. So they divide the world into the land of Islam and the land of war. And anything in the land of war, which is in Europe and America, is fair game. And they will continue to do both symbolic targets and soft right. targets in order to, to use the weapon of asynchronous warfare to divide us. Well, we are a hard target, as you suggested. We've got a good police commissioner, so we're going we're gonna to tighten up even more. And we already are. Zudi Jasser, thank you very much. Much. Appreciate you coming on for this breaking news.